Hey everyone, this is Steve Good back again to talk about Bybit and some other things around how to use Bybit effectively. So today I wanted to talk about how to use a limit order. So last time we talked about market orders and we talked about how to make a basic order with Bybit using a market order. So today let's talk about what a limit order is. Now, a limit order is used to effectively determine the price in advance, not to actually wait on the market to do, give you the exact price, but to actually set the price you want. Because if Bitcoin's moving around a lot, you may not want to buy it at the price that it's playing at. So let's use it as an example. Right now, Bitcoin's at 8333.5 on testnet. And let's just say, for example, I wanted to buy it at 83.28. So you'll see it popped in there as 83.28. And if I change it, click it there, it goes to 83.27.5. So it's literally taking the price I've set. I want to buy it for less than the current market. Now, uh, once again, I've uh, made some profit from some previous trades I've done. So I've now got 0.27 in the count, whereas last time we checked in, I had 0.22. So that's pretty cool. I did something right <laughs> for my trades. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to stick to the same 5x leverage so that we're going to get some good value out of the account. And we are going to do a buy long. But the difference, of course, is now we're not doing it as a market order at 83.30. We're doing it at a limit order of 8327. And the difference is that we're going to see that it's going to go in down below as a, an order that's waiting to be confirmed. So I'll show you how that works. We're going to go and buy long. And we're going to do the same thing we've done previously. We're going to set a stop limit of, let's say, 15% so that we would lose no more than 0.27. We'll do a take profit of 50%. So it could go up to 95.23. So there's our stop loss there. Our limit order, take profit is, a, is called a limit order. That's the, the limit in terms of the limit of how much I want it to make profit on it. And there's, a, as I've said, no point to be too greedy about this. We just want to set some boundaries so we know where we are. And this is cool. And I'm going to go ahead and confirm that trade. And you'll see, of course, that the order has been submitted, which is now an active order. And that's what active is. They're active orders that are waiting to trigger based on a price to occur. So right now we're waiting for the price to hit 83.27. And if the 83.27 price triggers, which I was hoping it might do while we're sitting here, then of course it will immediately go from active to a position that's an open position. So this is why these tabs are really important because what you'll see is positions shows you what you've got. Active shows you an active open order that you're waiting on. I'm gonna show you conditional in the next video when I show you how a, a trailing stop works, which is not an active, uh, position or an active order yet because it's based on a condition that will occur in the future, uh, which we'll show you next, next episode. And then of course we can show you other things like filled. So you can see these are other orders I've done. The most recent one being I had shorted 7,500 and then I closed that out. And I can also show you the closed PL, which was a trade that I entered at 85.69. It exited at 83.09 and I made 0 .0, almost 0 .03, 0 0.027 uh, in profit from that particular trade. So, um, so right now, as I said, we've got a no positions open right now. We've got one active order, which we're waiting to have happen based on a price of 83.27.5. We're very close at 83.32.5. Um, and, and that's basically the, all you need to do when it comes to these types of orders. Now, the, the thing is, it's really important, and I'm going to just highlight this for a reason. It's really important that when you make these orders that you put everything in correctly right from the start because you don't want to start editing and playing around with this. Otherwise, you have to start canceling it. I mean, you can edit the price and say, I want to change the price of the order and move it up. You could also change the quantity while you're sitting here. But you'll note that what's not here, I, it says limit. I can't edit the limit order. So, ah, see, there it goes, partially filled. Then it's filled. So the point I'm making is that once you put that order in and you can't edit the order, it means that the stop limit and the, and the, uh, the limit order and the stop loss cannot be set after the fact once you've entered it. So it's really important that when you have that order screen open, when you click the buy long or the sell short button and you open up that position and you've got those two tick boxes right at the top, make sure you put those right in at the beginning because otherwise you can't do it until your position is opened. Uh, which is, which is now. And of course, now, of course I can edit it. I can click on take profit. I can take on, click on stop loss. I can modify them. But if you'd forgotten to put these two items in when you had put the order in at the beginning, then of course 
and you may have forgotten about it. You come back to it and you go, oh my God, I forgot. No, no. And now I've lost a lot of money because you didn't put your stop loss in to protect yourself. So just remember that when you put your orders in, especially for things like limit orders, that you make sure you put that in because it's really critical because like I said, Bitcoin's volatile, it moves up and down, it moves around a lot and I don't want you guys getting caught out on a bad trade or forgetting that you put in an order and then coming back to it a few days later going, oh my God, I've lost all this money, where's it gone? Because you forgot to put your stop loss in and as a result of doing that, you end up in a situation where you may have lost the entire thing because it liquidated and you could have protected yourself. So that's the, the gist of how limit orders work. Um, as you see, we've got the order in, it's running now. And um, I'll cover off on, the, on a future episode, a next episode actually about how trailing stops work and how we can make those work to our advantage as well. So thanks everybody for checking in and checking out a little bit about how limit orders work. If you've got any questions or comments, drop them down in the comments below and give us a subscribe, click that bell. Thank you very much for checking in. The referral link is down below. So if you guys liking this, you wanna get into using buy a bit more, just click on that referral code down below and uh, sign up and uh, then we'll be here of course to have lots more episodes on how to use Bybit so check in again soon and until then thanks very much and check out Bybit and see you all soon